Hey guys, welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in Portuguese. Well, I think I should stop saying the joke, right? Well, in English, no? Today we don't have many news to talk about. What we have, really, it's, some, uh, it's a declaration or an interview that Laporta, I think he, went, he did yesterday, I'm not sure when, and that he said many things quite interesting, So, without more delay, let's analyze them. Well, for those who you don't know him, uh, here, Mr. Laporta, public, public Mr. Laporta. Well, um, the president of Barcelona yesterday was talking about many things, literally many things. One of them was about the economical situation. For example, he talked about the what, what the CEO said. Uh, one of the things that I didn't mention yesterday, the CEO with S, no with C, I was confused yesterday, but I read it with CEO, but no. Laporta said SEO, CEO. So, well, um, he said that Barcelona paid to journalists. So I guess when you pay some, uh, some to someone is to talk good or to talk well about you, you know? Um, do you imagine you're in a club? No, sorry, you're in a company. Imagine you ask or you, you the economy of the company is not going well, but you know the president of the company pays journalists to talk, about, to talk well about the company? Or to, well, no, not just not about the company, because we know he didn't do it to talk well about the company. He did it to talk well about him. So, do you imagine that situation? You, the company doesn't have money, and then your your president pays outsiders to talk well about him, about himself. So, well, uh, I'd like to know your opinion really about this this manner. This matter, sorry. So please leave it there on the comments. I invite you to, to tell me on the comments how do you feel if the president of your company or wherever you work, the person who is above you, they, they pay other people to talk well about them, but then the company is uh, in bankrupt as Barcelona is in this moment, or it be if we would be an PLC. So, um, he talked about Gasol, well, We don't talk about basketball, so I'm sorry. Uh, I appreciate a lot Gasol. I like him much, really, but I'm, it's not the place where we have to talk about. He also talked about Messi, that we are going to talk about later. And then he talked about other things. He explained, for example, uh, what happened with Kumen. So he said that it's true that Jordi Cruyff, uh, or Jordi Cruyff, I'm not sure the pronunciation in the Netherlands or in Dutch. Well, the Jordi Cruyff, as we say in Spanish, um, he 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 was an important factor to let Kuman stay. So you remember some days ago we said Kuman was uh, removed because of Jordi Cruyff, because Jordi Cruyff has a very very strange, uh, very close relationship with. Kuman and also he has a very a very close relationship with Laporta, so he did like intermediate. I don't know how to say that. Well, he did like connection between both to solve this situation. Actually, Laporta said that he's very happy to have done this, and he said that this happened already with Reichard. I cannot tell you about Reichard or what happened in that moment. I don't remember, and I wasn't that into the football, really. So he said, like, uh, I have my own opinion. But later, when I talked with Kuman, he debated me, debated my opinion with technical concepts. So, well, anyway, uh, he said that the director of football, uh, Matteo Alemany, he and Jordi Griff are quite happy with Kuman. And both of them, they wanted Kuman to stay. Actually, that, that I read it in other place yesterday night, too. So I guess it's true that Alemán and Jordi Grief wanted Kuman to stay while we lost. Other, other people in the board of directors wanted 
Xavi or well, wanted Xavi, exactly, Xavi. Actually, he talked about Xavi too, and he said, well, uh, I have a very good relationship with Xavi. Um, uh, I, I like to comment things about uh, what, uh, what they think, but I also like to hear about their opinion because they know much more than me. Don't forget, Jordi, uh, Joan Laporta, Jan for friends, <laughs> Jan Laporta, it's, uh, it's a, uh, a lawyer. He's not a football coach, a manager, or whatever. He's a lawyer, okay? So, uh, of course, I guess he's president of something. I don't know really uh, life, his private life or his private company. And it's nothing I care about, too. I don't, I don't go behind people trying to know what else they have out of football or Barcelona. It's not my function. As I know, for example, Messi has other, cla other things. He has investments or even Cristiano Ronaldo. But as they, it's not about football, their private lives, it's private. So I'm happy for them if their companies go, go well, really happy. But what I care is about Barcelona. So Cristiano Ronaldo is not even close to Barcelona. Even though in summer it sounds like maybe he came. No, he comes. And it would be a great, right, to see Ronaldo and Messi together. Well, well anyway, um, he said that he also has a good relationship with, with Xavi. So... Uh, this uh, it's important because uh, they are friends. But if you remember, because Xavi was a bit um, tied to Victor Font, the other candidate to become president of Barcelona, uh, Laporta like pushed him away a bit. But it seems that this relationship started to get closer again. Uh, like Jan forgave Xavi, but actually it's. A bit stupid. I don't know really what's behind all of these. But as far as Xavi said, he said that Font used his name, but he was not with Font. He was neutral. I, if I remember, if I don't remember wrong, there was some some connection between the two, them two, between uh, Xavi and Font. But probably at the end, Xavi was thinking like, no, I will stay a bit far. From this, even though they counted me, you know. So, well, anyway, he said that um, Laporta is still talking about Kuman. He said that he will continue, that even though, as all of us, Kuman was hurt when we lost, demotivated, but he still trusts on the players. He said that he needs those players who are injured, which I feel a bit like Kuman is still depreciating some of the players because if he's saying like I need Dembele, I need Kuhn, actually Kuhn, uh, Laporta said we brought Kuhn to score goals, well, etc. Et no? Then uh, he talked about the renewals, he said that Sergio Roberto, Gabi and Azufati, they are in, re in Gabi, Azufati and Pedri, sorry. They are in, renew in a renewing process. Actually, he said that Pedri is more advanced than the other two, the other three. But for example, Gavi and Ansufati are going well. And Sergi Roberto said that it's, it's there are some problems about the contract that they have to solve, but it's not paralyzed. He didn't mention that it's paralyzed. He just mentioned that there are some things to solve. So, but that's the situation. What surprised me a bit of this is that he didn't talk about Dembele about Dembélé renewal, he didn't say a word. Well, we'll see what happens now. And then he talked about... He talked about Messi. For example, about Messi, he said that um, he had the hope that Messi would say that he'd f play for free. <laughs> that's when I read... That's actually the <clears throat> the headline of the... of this... of this... Uh, near of this information or this article and it was quite funny because he said uh, we knew that he had a very powerful or very interesting offer we didn't we i think he said they weren't sure if it was from PSG or from where but of course if it's very interesting and whole year they have been talking about that so they guessed about PSG <clears throat> and then there was a moment that they saw that CVC that actually he said that all all of that from CVC, they didn't get the papers or whatever yet. And actually, that's because they are remaking the offer. 
because the offer was not interesting for some teams. So CVC is working on remaking the offer to make it more attractive. So they said that um, even though with that uh, investment, they weren't sure if they if they could sign Messi. He said that Teba said yes, but well, and he said that nobody pressured him to not accept it. Well, that's true and not. Why not? Um, because Teva said that even Laporta, days before leave Messi resign, or well, Messi leaving, Laporta called Tevas, and I guess this is true because Le Tevas has nothing to lose saying this, or, and nothing to win. He said that Laporta said, call him and literally said, L hurry up about that of the CVC because the little man or the guy is getting nervous. The guy is Messi. Messi was getting nervous because Barcelona didn't give him the offer yet. So at the end, that's why they rushed a bit more to make the offer of CVC. And then Barcelona, as Laporta said, we, we were not totally uh, agree with the conditions that they had to pay 20% of the COP TV's TV rights. And we felt more like we have to be in debt again. And I guess the, he said that's the reason. No? So, well, but then he said, I had the hope that Messi would play for free. <laughs> that would be funny. But Messi said, actually, this may be a misunderstanding, but I understand the situation. Messi has a strong, a strong offer. Laporta wants to offer him, hey, would you like to play for free and later we compensate you? But you cannot say that. Actually, that's what he says at the end. But a player with this quality, with his uh, with his characteristics, you cannot offer that. So at the end, Laporta was saying it was not uh, couldn't morally. You cannot ask a person, can you do this for free? And then we pay you when everything is better because um, who tells you that it's going to be better? No? And also, Messi said, and you remember, nobody asked me anything else. I guess Messi would accept if they asked, but having the other offer and they didn't ask, he decided to leave. I don't know really what happened, but anyway, it will be sad if they're to if the relationship breaks because of this. Also, he talked about other things. For example, the stadium. He said that the, the Camp Nou is going to be re redesigned. There is an, uh, 1,500 million, one uh, sorry, 1,000, yeah, 500 million euros of financement from Golden, Goldman Sachs. I don't know a company what's about. That they are going to help them to, to do the project of the Palau and some campus that they have in Barcelona. And also to increase the value of the Camp Nou to, and the capacity to 100. This is not clear, okay? I understood they talk about the Camp Nou, but before he was talking about making the Johan Cruyff Stadium bigger. So he said they will be able, or it will be able to, to the capacity will be around 110 million people. But he was talking about Johan Cruyff, and I guess he meant uh, the Camp Nou. I want to think it's the Camp Nou. I'm not sure anyway. And But that's what we have. And then he talked about other things uh, that, that, well, he talked about Neymar. And he said that when they made the offer, they said that he's not going to continue in PC. Then uh, at the end, they convinced uh, Neymar to continue. He, he wasn't this uh, upset because of that he said this is football he just got the best offer and he went so um, he said well anyway if we then if we would uh, sign him nothing will change much uh, probably will have more problems economically now and he talked about other things uh, he talked about the about Brussels and he said, we didn't talk much. We met each other, but no problem. About Bartomeu, he said, uh, never, uh, long time ago, we don't talk. Uh, since long time ago, I don't re even remember. And I don't talk with anyone from the last board of directors. And he talked about other things. Uh, but well, 
And finally, what he said is that the previous management from the board of directors, it was very bad, very improvised, and uh, signing players that they couldn't play, they couldn't pay, and really, really bad for Barcelona. So that's what Laporta said. Uh, that was it. Was many things actually? I didn't say any everything, but well. To give you an idea of what's Laporta's idea in this moment, I hope you enjoyed. I really don't have many news because, as you know, now we're the, with the Nations Cup, which where Spain will play the final on Sunday against France. I hope we win. I'm from Spain, don't forget it. <laughs> and anyway, thank you for watching us and see you in the next video. Have a nice day.